All right, guys, I'm back here again with another Docker video. Uh, I absolutely love Docker, if you can't tell from some of my past videos. Uh, any chance I have to use it, I, I do. So when I picked up uh, a Raspberry Pi Zero and then subsequently ended up with three Raspberry Pi Model A's, I dove into uh, figuring out how to set up Docker on my Pi. And I found out that there's actually, um, you know, quite a bit of stuff out there as far as setting it up, but uh, I use Docker Machine to manage all of my uh, Docker machines, basically, and I wanted to get that working on the Raspberry Pi. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in and show you what I've done uh, and some of the hurdles uh, that are involved in getting Docker set up on the Pi. First thing you need to do is uh, head over to your command line and SSH into your Pi. Uh, once you're in the Raspberry Pi, you want to go ahead and install Docker using uh, this command right here, and this is the common Docker script for installing Docker. And we need to make sure that we do this as the first step because Docker Machine will not be able to install the Docker engine. It will just kind of barf at you. I'm not sure why that is, but even if you tell it to use the correct engine from the right place, it still doesn't seem to work. So. Uh, the best way I figured out how to do it is to actually just run this command and install Docker on the Pi. After this, we need to go ahead and change Raspbian's operating system ID. This is because Docker Machine will fail uh, because it doesn't recognize Raspbian's ID and we need to change it to look like Debian. The thing you need to remember here is that this does need to be the second step. If you do it before you install Docker, Docker will error out for many of the same reasons that um, Docker Machine errors out, kind of the, the opposite of it. So anyway, we can go ahead and fire up nano and edit etc slash os dash release. Inside here, we want to change this line that says id. We want to change it from Raspbian to Debian. And that's going to let uh, Docker Machine go ahead and not have any errors and install. From here, we can go ahead and go back to our local machine and run the docker machine create command using the generic driver. So the command you need to run looks like this. Obviously, if your SSH key is in a different location, you will need to um, point it to the correct directory. Now, one of the most annoying things of running the docker machine generic uh, driver is that it asks you for your SSH key over and over again. If anybody has a way to kind of get around this, please let me know, but all of my searching has kind of turned up nothing. People basically say it's just not something that is supported, so I don't know. But for some reason, you have to type your SSH passphrase over and over again. So anyway, after that runs, um, Docker Machine should be fully set up and running. Uh, of course, other things you might want to do here is set up a static IP address on the Pi, uh, so you don't have to change the Docker Machine IP address. We can go ahead and test this by... Uh, using the Docker Machine SSH command and uh, SSHing into the Pi. That seems to work. I'm going to go ahead and test out Docker by just creating a temporary HTML directory here and adding in an index.html file. Now back on my local machine, I'm going to go ahead and use Docker Machine to run a RPI Engine X uh, container on the Pi. And I'm going to go ahead and make a volume that points that HTML directory I just created to uh, the hosting directory for the container. After it downloads all of the images it needs, we should be up and running. So Docker PS shows that our container is running. If we head over to the IP address of the Pi, I'm getting a 403. Okay, so what I think I did here was I put the uh, index.html uh, in the wrong directory. So I'm going to SSH back into the Pi.
and I'm going to go ahead and move that index.html file into that HTML directory. Now if we refresh this page, bang, we're in business, baby. Okay, so uh, that worked, um, and I have had good luck with this. So uh, you guys try it out. Let me know if you know of any better ways of doing this and if you have any troubles with it. Just a quick FYI, uh, there is a gist up on GitHub that has all the instructions for uh, setting up Docker Machine on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, also, there is another video that I did right before this one that shows how to set up a Raspberry Pi using uh, a headless method. So check that one out as well. And as always, if you like this content, get subscribed, share it, and all that good stuff is much appreciated. Have a great one.